Hello dear viewers, welcome to yet another episode of our YouTube tutorial videos. So in this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how you can easily uh, use the beam, beam tool in order to make uh, appropriate window, window aprons and even window sills for enhancement of your uh, window designs. So before we proceed with uh, this particular exercise, I would like you to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. So there will be no means any of our upcoming tutorial videos that we'll be uh, putting up in this platform and also for the sake of uh, growth of our channel. So thank you and stay with us. So to begin us off, uh, I want to uh, show you this particular design that I'm working on. And uh, just as you can see, uh, our, our windows do not have uh, the window sills or even the aprons just to enhance the their appeal uh, to make even the design look better so for us what we're going to do is to just come to the the beam tool uh, which is located on the the left hand side of this particular page so i'll click on it then once that is done i'll do the necessary uh, provisions of picking up dimensions and even the kind of style that we'll be having for that particular uh, exercise. So, as you can see, I have already uh, have a dialog box open here. So what I'll simply do is just to make the necessary adjustments to our our design, sorry, our, our, our beam tool. So in that regard, I'm simply going to uh, take you through the various uh, features that this beam tool will have so as they for as far as the dimensions are concerned i think i will work with the 200 uh, for the height and the, the width will be 100 of course uh, for the cross section then uh, we'll simply head to the the floor plan to get the dimensions of those windows so that we can uh, easily install them in their place so the first thing that I'll do is just to pick one of the dimensions for our windows and in that regard I'll simply come to the document and then, then click on dimension and then I'll just come here and uh, place one there and also place another just at the tip of the window click on it pick somewhere outside I think that is okay yeah so that is exactly two meters exactly two meters then I'll also look for this one the small window click on that I'll also click on this Then I'll click outside. That is one meter. So, as far as that is concerned, I'll simply go to my 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 beam tool now. Simply go to my beam tool, and then I'll be able to customize those settings based on the dimensions that I've gotten. So in that regard, uh, I'll have the I'll have a look at the, the whole the floor plan selection, the structural or analytical elements, and once all that is uh, checked, I can just come to my the windows. Then I'll click on one corner then drag it to the next and we'll just be well with that so in order for you to make easier customizations you'll simply go to the 3d and check how that comes out This 
uh, see where this is. Let me put it to a height of uh, three meters. Lower it. Let's see, one thousand. That will be okay. From it. Good. So from here is where now we can do our 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 customizations, and I believe you can see that uh, the 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 that particular apron will be able to fit uh, the window easily. Of course, you can have a choice of making it overlap. Uh, you can have it overlap. You can also just drag it. Just move it a bit. Just drag it in position again. This uh, that is appropriate. Then I'll rotate and see how that comes out. And uh, we can easily customize the others for this for the small window. So we'll simply have the this apron. Uh, we'll have it. Uh, We can change its uh, outlook uh, because since it is uh, concrete and structural, we simply make sure that it is in line with the with the with the with the, with the concrete structure that uh, is at the slab. Then the next thing that I'll do is I'll also change the dimensions and just lengthen it a bit. Just lengthen it a bit. So I'll come here and then click on. I'll increase the width. Let me say to 300. Let's see how that comes out. Yeah, so what I can do again to make it uh, look more more appealing is I'll, I'll again make sure that it just overlaps or I'll simply offset it so that it flashes with the wall. And then let's see how that comes out. I believe that is now okay. So I'll just work on the, I'll simply work on the I'll simply work on the width. So once that is done, let me let me use hundred. Sorry for the height. Let me use a hundred. See how that comes out. Then I'll click OK. And I believe that is uh, quite lean. That is quite lean. Let me adjust it to. 150 needs to be a bit reasonable good so i, I believe that is uh, okay so we can we can uh, simply copy this to all other uh, windows so I'll, I'll click on move and then drag multiple copies then i'll Pick this, and then first head it to the. Remember, I'm prioritizing all the all the two meter windows. 
that's okay. Then I'll move to another one. This side. This one. Remember to make sure that it flashes with the window appropriately. That you not have those uh, problems. Then another thing that I'll do is just to rotate, rotate it so that it uh, I can copy it to the rest of the the horizontal windows. So I'll just rotate. Click, then I'll drag multiple copies. So let's see. What now comes out? I believe we... Okay, we need to adjust. Let's adjust this one. Perfect. So I believe that is a, an, a part of it. Then we can now move to the, the second uh, window here. Just make sure that uh, these dimensions are in line with the... are in line with uh, their specific dimensions. So I'll rotate it. Click. Then move it to uh, this particular window here. Of course, what I'll do is just to uh, downsize it. That is now perfect. So uh, it fits that window. So what I'll do is simply just to drag multiple copies. Then come here and uh, begin with this. Press it there well. Then I'll also rotate it. simply for the for the washroom so um, place it there and then place another one there make sure they are coinciding and that will be good for us yeah so i believe that is how we can uh, just uh, make the, the window aprons. So the rest, I believe we can just uh, make ne some necessary adjustments, of course, based on uh, your test and preference. This one, you can simply drag it to position. Uh, 
same to same to even these ones. So let me just select and then click, drag them to position. I believe that is now okay. So for the rest, for as far as the aesthetics are concerned, or especially as far as the modeling is concerned, you can always uh, use any 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 uh, kind of uh, material that you may wish to have on those aprons. You can have them as wooden. You can also have them as concrete, but painted. So it depends with the with the kind of test that you may want uh, for that particular window. So I believe uh, we can do that and simply uh, model them in a manner that is uh, appropriate for, for the aesthetics. So we can here, we can have it as a, let me use a, can use a Mason structure roll, let me use my concrete block, and then we can Forgotten about these ones. So, yeah, so let us see, let us see how that uh, looks like. Having having changed the, the nature of our, yeah, that is the masonry block. You can decide and uh, do some painting. You can decide and do some painting. So, in that regard, you can. Play along with colors. Play along with colors. Let me let me select all of them. Select all of them. Select all of them. Let me select all of them and then come up with the. With an appropriate so can come up with a, a model. So come up with a we can paint it, uh, let us paint it as color. Use lead oxide. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, so I believe that is uh, for some some are not selected. We can just have all of them. Uh, we can select this one. Sorry, this and then. Of lead oxide, so 
click OK. Now you can see all of them. Yeah. So I believe this is uh, part of it. One of them is not selected, so we can also make amendments for that. Let me see this. It should be this one. So that is that. So I believe uh, that is just how we can use our beam tool to do that. And uh, since we have come to the end of this uh, tutorial video, I would wish to ask you to uh, remember to comment, like, share, and even uh, in case you have any questions, you can always uh, post on the comment section below. And if you don't mind, you can share with your uh, friends and even don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and see you in our next video.